Welcome to a video presentation of Chapter 4, Section 4 in McDougal Hotel's 8th grade textbook entitled Least Common Multiple. We start with two definitions. First is the definition of a multiple. A multiple is the product of the number and any non-zero whole number. The product of the number and any non-zero whole number. Multiples, when you're done with them, should look like a times table. For instance, if I ask you what are the multiples of 4, you have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 2, 56, 60, 64, 68, and so on and so forth. Those are the multiples of 4. The second definition is the definition of common multiple. That's a multiple shared by two or more numbers the smallest of which is called the least common multiple. A multiple shared by two or more numbers, the smallest of which is called the least common multiple. Just like greatest common factor, there's two ways we can find the least common multiple. The first is the one you're probably most familiar with, listing multiples, which is what we're going to do in example one. Right. In example one, part A, you can see we're asked to find the least common multiple of four and seven. Now, you'll note before I start that least common multiple is written a lot like the greatest common factor problems. Remember, for the greatest common factor problems, you would have GCF, then you'd have a set of parentheses, and those parentheses would be the numbers you're finding the greatest common factor of equals the solution. Notice it's the same thing. The only difference is, obviously, GCF is replaced by LCM. Other than that, it's exactly the same. Okay, so I'd like you to please consider using that as the way you write your answers out. All right. So in part A, we're finding the least common multiple of 4 and 7 by listing multiple. Start with the multiples of 4. Obviously, it starts with 4, then it goes 8, 12. Where does it go from there? 16. 16. Keep going, Shelby. 20. 20. Keep going. 24. Keep going. 28. Keep going. One more. All right, we've got to do the same thing for the number 7. So I've got to go ahead and list the multiples of 7. Right, obviously, it starts with 7, then goes to 14. Pick it up from there for me, please. Kevin? 21. Keep going. 28. And now we can stop because we have a match. As you can see, 28 is on both lists, so the least common multiple of 4 and 7 is 28. Right. In part B, we're finding the least common multiple of 16 and 28. Now this one's not very much fun because listing the multiples of 16 and 28 is kind of a pain. So we'll start by listing the multiples of 16. Now the first few you probably get pretty easily. 16 obviously. After that, it goes to 32. You can probably even get that the third one is 48. After that, it might be a little difficult for some of you. It goes 64, 80, 96, 12, 128. 28 is probably going to be even worse for some of you. 28. Starts with 28, then it goes to 56, then it goes to 84, still don't have a match, 112, now we have a match, and the least common multiple of 16 and 28 is 112. Now obviously, as you can see from that example, depending on what the numbers are, this type of problem could be a real pain if you have to list multiple. So, of course, we have a second way to do it. We can continue 
to use the factor trees or the method of prime factorization. All right, the part you have to do changes once you get past making the factor tree, but you can still start off with the factor trees just like we did with greatest common factor. So that's exactly where we're going to start. In 2a, we're asked to find the least common multiple of 24 and 36. start with the factor tree for 24. Elaine, give me two numbers that I can multiply together that'll make 24, other than 1 and 24. 6 and 4. 6 and 4 would be a good start. Now, neither 6 nor 4 is prime, so we have to break both of those down. Uh, break down 6, prime. 6, 3 and 2, and 4 is going to break down as what, Nick? Uh, 2 and 2. 2 and 2. Good. And those numbers are then all prime. So I've primed out factors. 